Today I'm replacing the right front wheel bearing on my 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. Um, it's starting to make noise around 40 miles per hour. Another way to check it when the wheel is on, wiggle it. If you have play both up and down and side to side, then it's probably your wheel bearing. If you only have play side to side, it's probably in your tie rod. So make sure you're replacing the right part. The first thing you want to do is jack up the car, set the e-brake, take off both front wheels. Once you get the wheel off, take these two 21 millimeter bolts out to get the caliper out of the way. I use a bungee cord to hold it up so it's not dangling by the brake line. Take the rotor off, take this 10 millimeter, one, two, three, to get this plate off. There's a 10 millimeter here for the ABS sensor, one up here for the ABS sensor. There is a 32 millimeter nut here that holds on the drive shaft. Once you get the nut off, make sure that the drive shaft is loose. Then there are two 15 millimeter bolts on either side that hold the wheel bearing in. If you push this drive shaft out of your way, it's easier to get a socket on here. Don't round these off. You might have to take an air hammer if the wheel bearing is jammed in there or a dead blow and hammer it out of the way. I took my air hammer and hit it right here and you can see it's starting to loosen up. When you're going back together, make sure you start the four 15s by hand so you don't cross thread them and that's about it the wheel bearing has the abs sensor harness attached to it the connector goes up here it's got two little holes right here that these guys go into to hold it out of the way to loosen the connector with a little screwdriver pry back this red locking clip first and then you can disconnect it Make sure when you're putting the new wheel bearing in, you start all 15, all four of these 15 millimeter nuts by hand before you tighten anything down so you're not fighting anything. When you slide it on, make sure you slide it over the drive shaft splines without damaging the spline so that it spins and goes on smoothly. And also make sure that the ABS wheel speed sensor goes on the correct side so you're not bolting it on upside down. Then this axle nut, you want to look up the torque spec, make sure that you torque it to spec. Once you get it all back together, I always double check all the nuts, all the bolts, make sure everything's tight. All right, so the torque for the axle nut, the 32 millimeter is 118 foot pounds. Make sure that you torque that correctly. A good rule of thumb when you're putting the wheel back on is to start all the lug nuts by hand instead of just zipping them on with your gun because the wheel can get cocked and then you cross thread the lug studs and you have a terrible time getting it off. Anytime I do anything where I take the wheels off, I torque them to spec. On this Dodge, it's 110 foot pounds. I chest drive the vehicle and then I double check the torque. You can never be too careful. One last thing when you go to buy parts, I got this wheel bearing hub assembly off of Amazon for 50 bucks. It lasted about 105 days and then started throwing an ABS code. So try to buy OE, try to buy OEM, or at least read the reviews because had I read them, I would have known not to buy this piece of junk. The one I installed today was from O'Reilly and it has a lifetime warranty. So better luck this time, hopefully.